Um, finally, Elizabeth Warren uh, also announcing plans for a wealth tax today, um, talking a lot about inequality, assets such as $50 million and uh, even uh, a special one on billionaires as well. Um, how does this play into Biden's agenda and any chance that this will get passed? I mean, if the Senate can't agree on, if Democrats can't agree on a $15 minimum wage, I have a hard time seeing that this could be agreed to. So you're right that what Senator Warren's proposing has been seen as a bit controversial. I mean, there's definitely some support out there for a tax on the wealthy. Warren's pitching this as a tax on ultra millionaires, but there's opposition to it out there as well. But here's the thing, you know, we're focused right now on this COVID COVID stimulus package. But some Democrats are already looking down the line because they can do this budget reconciliation thing again. And they want to do that with sort of a big Biden plan to include infrastructure, things for the economy. Think of it as sort of the long-term stimulus plan rather than the short-term one we're looking at right now. The question is, how do we pay for it? And so there's an idea that Warren's tax plan, which is expected to generate about $3 trillion in taxes, could be potentially used to offset the costs of this future legislation. Emily Wilkins from Bloomberg Government. Emily, we are going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us on this. We appreciate it. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.